Hello friends, I am Deepak Sharma and you are welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Facts. In this series, I am going to upload videos relevant with the key information of business process management and more specific to Flowable BPM. So let's quickly start with our first video on Flowable BPM open source overview. Let's summarize the agenda of this video in snapshot where we will be discussing the overview of business process model and notations then overview of flowable bpm and its benefits to understand why we should use flowable as a first choice to use as a bpm tool after that we will be having a quick comparison of flowable open source and enterprise version and in the last we will be discussing the core components of flowable open source as an overview for flowable core or platform flowable modeler flowable task flowable admin and flowable identity management to understand bpmn in nutshell we should first understand what is bpmn so business process model and notation is a graphical representation for specifying business processes in a business process model originally it has been developed by business process management initiative where bpmn has been maintained by the object management group omg since the two organizations got merged in 2005 and currently the version of bpmn language which we are using is bpmn 2.0 now each bpmn process has a sequence of flow objects connected with a series of activities and have at least one start and end event to produce a specific outcome bpmns having four basic element categories which are flow objects connecting objects swim lanes and artifacts flow objects are the main describing elements within bpmn and consist of three core elements which are events activities and gateways events are further categorized as start intermediate and end events which is represented with a circle Activities are further categorized as task, transaction, call, and sub-processes, which is represented with a round corner rectangle. And gateways are further categorized as exclusive, parallel, inclusive, event, and complex gateways. They are represented with a diamond shape and determines the forking and merging of paths depending on the conditions expressed. The second basic element of BPMN is connecting objects. Flow objects are connected to each other using connecting objects, which are further categorized into three types. Sequence flow symbols, which are represented with a solid line and an overhead. Message flow symbols, which are represented with a dashed lines, an open circle at the start and an open overhead at the end. The last is association symbols, which are represented with a dotted line it is used to associate an artifact or text to a flow object. Now, swim lanes is the third basic element of BPMN, which provides a visual mechanism of organizing and categorizing common activities in a process diagram. It consists of two types, pool and lanes. Pool represents major participants in a process, typically separating different organizations, whereas lanes are used to organize and categorize activities within a pool according to a common function or rule. The last element of BPMN is artifacts, which provides an added level of information in BPMN diagram that allow developers to bring some more information into the diagram. In this way, the model becomes more readable and there are three predefined artifacts, which is data objects, which shows the reader which data is required to produce an activity. Second is group, which represented with a round corner rectangle and dashed lines. The group is used to group different activities, but does not affect the flow in the diagram. And the last is annotation, which is used to give the reader of the model an understandable impression. I will be creating a detailed video on basics of BPMN and will share the details with all subscribers. Let's move on to the overview of open source Flowable BPM. Flowable BPM is from open source community and follows the OMG standards. Though it comes with the enterprise edition with additional features along with licensed version. 
It is a fully open source, lightweight and flexible business process management suite which is written in Java language. It allows us to create, deploy, execute and monitor business processes throughout their life cycle. Flowable is highly efficient, fast and compact as it is tried and tested by many developers since last many years. It provides workflow and BPM platform for developers, system admins and business users. Flowable is forked from Activity BPM with a licensed Apache 2.0 version established in year 2016. It follows the standards of BPMN 2.0, DMN 1.2 and CMMN 1.1 for case management. The current and latest version of open source Flowable is 6.6.0 which is released on 13th of October 2020. Details you can check with the below link which I have provided in the description of this video as well. All core component engines can be run as an embedded Java application or as a microservice using a Spring Boot application. The applications can be deployed and run on a standalone cluster or cloud setup. Flowable provides a very rich Java and REST API to integrate workflow with Java applications. As we already discussed that Flowable is forked from Activity BPM, but it is good to discuss the entire JPPM family products and their journey. JPPM, which is a Java business process model, is an open source workflow engine written in Java that can execute business process described in BPM and 2.0. It is got sponsored by Red Hat, part of the JBoss community and closely related to the Drools and Opta Planner projects in the KIE group. It is released under the ASL by the JBoss company in year 2006. After that, in year 2010, Activity is been launched, which it has a base team consisting of the employees of Alfresco company. In March year 2010, Tom Benz and Joram Barres, the two key developers of JPPM left Red Hat and started Activity as an employee of Alfresco. Activity is based on their workflow experience with the JPPM, but it is a new code base, not based on any previous JPPM code. After that, Kamunda was founded by Jacob Fernand and Bernd Rucker in year 2008 as a business process management consulting company. Over the next four years, Kamunda built a consulting customer base of more than 250. So on March 2013, Kamunda forked the activity project to launch Kamunda BPM as an open source project. After that, in year 2016, Barry's Redmarkers, the author of Activity and other contributors left Alfresco. The departing developers forked the Activity code to start a new project called Flowable BPM in October 2016. Let's move on to the quick comparison of Flowable op open source with the enterprise version. The enterprise work and engage are built on top of flowable open source engines with a lot of additional functionality which includes the action definitions, data analytics, security features, user definitions and integrated web chats. Open source details you can find on flowable.org whereas enterprise related details you can find on flowable.com. Flowable work and engage use the same BPM and CMN DMN features. New features are first deployed and tested in the open source community forum and then after a thorough testing they get included in the enterprise version. The core components are different in open source and enterprise but both are implemented on same core components. Flowable form APIs are much more advanced in enterprise version as compared to the open source. The flowable control which comes in the enterprise version is a combination of uh, flowable identity management and flowable admin which comes as a separate and individual components in open source. Web chat features and integration with the WhatsApp are available in enterprise version. Advanced features in the design are included on top of the basic components which is provided in the open source. 
Let's move on to discuss Flowable product features and their comparison. Flowable has four products, which is open source, which we have already discussed so far. Enterprise pack, which is forked from the open source, Flowable work and Flowable engage. These three are the licensed version and for them I will share more details in my subsequent videos. All such details are very well documented on Flowable website and this is quite a straightforward which you can refer from the website page. That is https flowable.com products features. The link of the page I have provided in the description of this video so you can refer it later. And now I will take you through the same as a snapshot summary. Here you can see the four products which we have discussed. Flowable engines are common for all four products. Flowable editors are again common. However, few features like complex forms, enhanced editors, model data directory, multilingual models, even models are missing in open source. Now case and process management as well as the enterprise content manager comes with the flowable work license. However, audit history and the fully indexed search comes in flowable engage as well. Engagement services are available only in the flowable engage for real time chat, bots, desk conversation, WhatsApp and WeChat integrations, etc. Analytics is part of flowable work, but we can get standard reports in flowable engage as well. Security, monitoring, developer and support related features are common for all four products. However, role based access control, cluster management, business APIs and service packs SLAs are missing in open source. So because SLAs are missing in open source, that's why with the enterprise version, you can get a dedicated support for the queries from Flowable support team as per the SLAs defined in the contract and you can expect faster solution for your queries. Now we are going to discuss the individual components and their features available in Flowable open source. Here comes the first component, Flowable Core. All Flowable products are built on top of the Flowable Core open source project. Swagger documentation is available on their website and the link I will be sharing in the description of my video. This is the heart of workflow and BPM platform for Flowable. The Flowable process engines has many years of real world use to ensure the fast, efficient and reliable process execution. It is available in open source as well as in the enterprise version. Flowable Core provides the rich Java and REST API to integrate with end application. It also run as an embedded Java application or as a microservice. Now the second component which we are going to discuss is Flowable Modeler. It is an app that allows users with modeler privileges to model processes, forms, decision tables and application definitions. Flowable Modeler is used for workflow design by developers or business analysts. Flowable Modeler provides a web-based designer as well as it can be used as an Eclipse plugin. We can create new BPMN, DMN, CMMN forms as an integrated application. Also, we can export and import the applications using Flowable Modeler. It has a core palette at the left side which provides the standard BPMN 2.0 notations. Also, the open source model look and feel is a bit different if you compare it with the enterprise version of modeler which is known as a flowable design. Now the next component is a flowable task which is a lightweight and extensible end user user interface built with angular UI. Flowable task is a runtime task app that provides the functionality to start the process instances, edit the task forms, complete the task and query on task and process instances. After that, we have the next component Flowable Admin, which is used as an administrative app that allows users with admin privileges to query the BPMN, DMN, form and content engines and provide several options to change process instance, task, jobs and so on. The admin app connects to the engines through the REST API that is deployed together with the Flowable UI application and the Flowable REST application. We can do several administrative operations using this component 
to claim unclaim migrate suspend resume the task or a process instance the last component of flowable open source which we are going to discuss in this video is flowable idm which is flowable identity management using this portal we have a single sign on authentication functionality for all the flowable ui applications and for users with the idm administrative privilege it also provides the functionality to manage the users groups and privileges so with that we can create modify and delete the users groups and privileges now with this i will conclude today's video about open source flowable overview if you have any doubt questions queries you can reach out to me with your comments and i will try to answer your queries thank you very much for your valuable time and if you like this video then please like and share this video also subscribe to my channel for such informative videos on bpm and especially on flowable bpm that's all in today's episode stay healthy and stay safe